Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. Today I'm going to share with you a cool way you can use Card Designer to create some cool looking slideshows and blocks. So it's Monday, every Monday I'm going to post a video here about blocks, custom bricks, some templates maybe, or just tutorials how to use this amazing web design tool. And if you if you want to uh, to learn blocks like in detail, I recommend to check out the templates, oh, not the templates, Blocks Master, the tutorials. I have them all like uh, categorized under each category and it will help you learn blocks very fast. But well, today it is a free video for you, regardless of wherever you sign up or not. I want to show you how to build slideshows using Card Designer. So if you don't know what Card Designer is, it is basically a paid brick. It's $25, but it is alongside Vault CMS. I think it is one of the best bricks available for blocks. And brick is basically an extension. And yeah, if you go to developer website, you can see that it allows you to create some cool looking uh, cards. So you, you don't see any slideshows here. But yeah, you can see that it creates some amazing cards and you don't need to code anything. You can just use it one brick to create all of this. And you can do something like this in blocks, but you will not be able to achieve the same animations, hover effects, at least not without using some code. I don't like to code and maybe you don't like it too. So card designer can be a very good solution for you. But today I'm going to do something else actually. If you go to blocks templates, for example, this lawyer template, it has a carousel here. It's not full screen, it's just half screen, maybe a little bit more carousel. Uh, there's some simple images to give some kind of design to this page. And it's cool, it's the built-in carousel we have in blocks, but what if I want to have something different? Well, we can use card designer for that. And let's quickly create the simple project here. I will add the navigation and footer. Let's add some content blocks so it's not empty. Something like that. So here we want to have the carousel. Well, we of course can use the default carousel. This is the one. It's basically the carousel brick inside the block. And it is cool, it, it, it can be used. I use it for many of my website, but as you can see, it does has some limitations. It has some limitations. For example, like you need to pre-edit the images, the size you want for them to fit properly. It does not auto crop your images. And we get some options here, like we can change the style of transition from slide to fade, for example, or we can change the time for transition. We can align the content on these images and that's basically it. It's cool. It, it can be used for many things, but if we want something different, let's try to build a similar one using car designer. So I will add the car designer brick here. And as you can see at first glance, it doesn't look like it is something spectacular when it comes to slideshows, but we can add a few images first to make it look a little bit better. I will add the same images and right away you can see the advantage of using Card Designer over the regular carousel. You don't need to crop the images before using them. It will automatically crop them to fit the same size. Okay, so it is looking better, but still we need to fill the whole, at least half of the screen. So how we do that? First, we will get rid of the padding. We will set the width of this block to full width and we will select the row and get rid of the gutters, a little padding on each side. Now it looks more like what we need, but of course, if we select the card designer, we have a few options here. Like for example, we can set some text, we can set the style of layout, but what we need is this dimension controls. If we select this, we can change the width of this card and we can set it to be full width like that. And we can have uh, three different options for height. So it's not like unlimited options. You can see that you need to choose between three, 
but I find that this 540 is actually a very cool one. You can use it for many things. And yeah, this is already looking like the slideshow, but we can also change something else here. We can change, for example, we can add the effects animations. This one is unavailable in, in the default carousel, of course. So we will add the different animations to each image like that. That's cool. Then we can change the style and position of these bullets. Let's just move them to the bottom. We can change the time, especially uh, exactly the same as this carousel, just three seconds, for example. And we can add the top line, description, title, card designer as a slide show like that. And we can change some different things here. I'm not going to do everything. Let's maybe just change the text a little bit. Well, let's make it very bold, align it to the center. Maybe add some description. Description goes here. Maybe make it bigger like that. Cool. And well, we can create button. Let's just add button and it will be it for this video. So learn more. And we can just type the URL. If we have some page on our website, for example, about page, we can just type it here and it will bring us there. So important thing here, of course, is that we have this card is clickable option. If we build the regular carousel, we need to click on the button to move to this link. But in card designer, we can just click this and the whole image, actually all three images, regardless of when you click on it, they will bring you to this URL. So very cool. And there is some other options. Maybe let's just quickly, quickly change the style for this button. Yeah, you can make it open scroll uh, model, scroll to some different parts on your website, change the colors and everything. I'm not going to do that. Let's just go to preview and see it's a different type of design which we don't have this card, this carousel. And beautiful thing is it is actually also very responsive. You can see that it is automatically responsive. It doesn't jump or anything. Very cool. So that's just one thing. You can do this card designer. And I'm doing this because I think that don't uh, not many people know about this. So it is a perfect tool to create cards, but you can use it for simple slideshows. Keep in mind, it's not uh, designed to be a slideshow tool. So it is, of course, limited in options, but I find it pretty good for many, many cases. And maybe if you already have card designer, you can consider using it as a slideshow. So that's it for today's video. Once again, if you need more tutorials, please check out Blocks Master website. It has tons of tutorials just like this one. Maybe a little bit less talking, but yeah a lot more information for you there so thank you for watching this video i will talk to you i will see you next monday goodbye